Hi guys, this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. Welcome to my channel. Ready for today's video? So you can see in front of you, there is six different kind of cards, right? So I am using the same stamp set and same matching die card, and I just use a different kind of background and create a six totally different kind of card, the card project. You know what is the good stamp? The good stamp is the stamp that you can use again and again, and then with the same stamp, you can create all different kind of card. That's the good stamp. So today's video, I'm going to um, start one of the project and I'm trying to upload two videos every week and then um, stay tuned, there's more video coming soon. So today, um, today's project is going to this one, I kind of created this uh, car and I want to really create this gliding, flying, uh, flying um, the uh, bow eagle and it's actually doing pretty good job. It's very easy to create. And it's a absolutely, absolutely 100% created by using the rubber stamp. Okay, so I am going to use uh, this uh, majestic stamp set and the matching die cut set. So that's the um, the main images. And then I am going to use three different kinds of background. Actually four. There's a, one more is missing is the waterfall. You can see it's here. So usually when i do the car project i just use one background and the one stamp set to create that project so to the, um the following few videos uh, you will see i'm going to show you step by step how to use these for example those uh, two is actually creates like the same background but uh, can you see this moon one is smaller one is bigger but it is the same stamp how did i do that if you own one of the local king's shadow stamp you got to follow my video because i'm going to share with you one of the great tips for how to make your stamp um, ink better and stamp better because uh, one of my stamp like this moon stamp i haven't used it for a while and then i was uh, having such a hard time to stamp i just don't know what happened no matter what i do i can't get some nice image and then i I figured out a way and I'm going to share with you in my coming video how can you get the best image when you use those kind of shadows and like a solid bold image okay stay tuned so and one more thing is that um today is uh is uh, is November which day is that is the beginning of the November now if you miss or fall sell don't worry about it we are going to have a great Black Friday selling in November twenty fifth so make sure you subscribe to Local Kings YouTube channel and uh, subscribe our newsletter and I will send the email out so if you have any stamp set that you're in your mind and then you maybe you want to purchase for your for uh, as a christmas gift so just uh, mark down your shopping list and then uh, don't um, miss or black friday sale in november 25th so i will have all the detail out soon so stay tuned and uh, that's a start today's video so today's video we're going to use this majestic uh, stamp set and we are going to use this uh, tree to sky to create this uh, beautiful background you change the color they change the looking that's the best part of the stamping so that's started Okay, so we're gonna working on the background first, and I am going to use uh, this uh, tree to sky background stamp. And then this technique, you are going to need a stamp positioner because we are going to stamp. We need to stamping on the same spot few times and i'm just using um those recollection 100 pounds car stock i found out they just work well and uh, actually i am going to raise out my area i don't really like those magnet i don't really found out they are strong enough okay so this is a stamp positioner if you have one that's great if you don't have one what you can do is uh, i have a video to share with you how you can use the cd case or dvd case to create your stamp um stamp position they work yeah maybe not like perfect but they 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 do the things that you need to be done okay so that's just uh, do these first make sure it's stamp. okay so here is something i would like to share with you and uh, it probably not the same stamp okay so I was trying to 
damping some image. And then this is what happened to me. I just tried to stamp a few times and then I just can't get like a nice solid image. I know sometimes when we're stamping on the like a like a watercolor paper because the surface is not so smooth, right? So sometimes uh, we need to stamp a few times to be able to get a nice coverage. But I stamp a few times. I use my stamp for positioner and then I just uh, drive me nuts. I don't know what happened. See, this is what happened. It's just keep appearing. And I take a look at my stamp and then my stamp is okay. It's not like a defect item. I was just having so much hard time. So if you own some of the local king's uh, shadow stamp, shadow stamp is a, uh, is a, uh, like this, it's like a reverse image stamp. Okay, like you have a lot of a flat area. Here is something is going to help you a lot. First, you can use an eraser. Okay, and then if you want to stamping on the glossy paper, is a it, it, you can try these too. But the glossy paper is like a, you want to spray paint your car. You have to do in those kind of spray boots or like a dust free area. A little bit dust on the glossy paper if it's like a small image is okay. But when you want to work in like a dark image. A little bit dust on your stamp, it will transfer to your paper, so it's a little bit hard. But if you want to stamp it on the regular car stock, it shouldn't have this problem. And then, but because I haven't used my stamp for a while, and then no matter how many times I stamp, I can't get a nice stamp image. So something wrong with the, the way I'm stamping, right? So the first things you're going to try, if you haven't used your stamp for a long time, and then you cannot get, you keep getting something like uh, like this this is kind of like a dotting here so something like this so first you are going to try to use an eraser to er erase the surface the whole surface okay you only do this on the rubber stamp. Don't try to do it on the clear stamp, okay? Because uh, it won't work. <laughs> it's the, um, you don't really have to, you know, on the clear stamp, I really don't know about clear stamp because I don't have a clear stamp. So the rubber stamp is really, is a tough cookie. So you can really abuse them, they really work well. So first of all, you are going to just use an eraser to erase the surface. And then you are going to clean the surface. Okay. So that should help you get a nice stamp image. If still you can't get a nice image, what are you gonna do is there's one more thing, especially when I am doing the next few car projects, especially that moon stamp set, because that one have a more solar area. So it's a very um often that will create some issue. You you probably cannot get the good stamp. If like a king, if a king and the um, Cindy in Clearwater in Illinois, you are watching this video because the last uh, um, last workshop you guys was mentioned you guys have some problem with this stamp. You cannot get a nice stamp image. So here is what you're going to do. First, you are going to use eraser, really, really erase the surface. And remember, I'm only talking about the rubber stamp. I don't know anything about the clear stamp. So um, if the clear stamp doesn't work, please don't ask me because I have no idea. So rubber stamp, definitely you can do that. Okay, that's the first thing you do. If you try to stamp it, they work well, that's good. If it's still not, I'm going to show you my secret weapon, okay? You are going to, first, you're going to use your stamp a little bit more often. You're going to, Use that because the used stamp is a stamp better than the brand new stamp. The brand new stamp, you really have to kind of warm them up to make them in the position. It's just a, like a like a shoes. You wear that shoes more often and often and they get softer, they work better, right? So same as the rubber stamp, you got to use it 
My stem has been sitting there for a long time. I haven't used it, which is bad. That's why they don't stem in, uh, they don't, they kind of become like a little bit harder. So you have to make them a little bit softer, work better. So you try the eraser first. If the eraser doesn't work, go to the dollar store, get a some of these one. I think in one pack is like a dollar. Maybe you have 20 of them. The fine one, don't use a very rough like a sandpaper. You need something like the same block, but a very fine one. This is just for the uh, flyer, for your nail. So you can do a little bit <laughs> while you're stamping. Okay, just get one. And then you are going to just use a flat, like a hold your finger, kind of just sanding the surface. Try to just uh, draw a circle. Just try to hold it, okay? Please, please don't do this with your um, clear stem, okay? Because I am sure you are going to damage your clear stem for sure. Um, I am not going to be responsible for that. So you just use this one gently kind of sanding this one. And you give it a try, you will find out this stem is going to stem so well. So try to use the eraser first, and then if it still doesn't work, get this one and just kind of try to keep as flat as you can. Just uh, gently rubbing, okay? Don't use the, um, the same paper because if you use the same paper, it's a piece of paper, you only use your finger and working on some part. It's not going to work well. Use this one or the some block or you know those some the block when you do the manicure and those one they should be work just fine. Okay, that you will get the perfectly image from now on. Okay, and then now we are going to working on our background. So first we um we have to color or tree. So this technique, I'm sure you can try the winter things, you know, you can try the summer thing because now it's still the end of a fall. I kind of want to create some kind of fall finish with the blue sky. So I am going to do kind of like a reddish uh, um, color. And then we have to seal with a clear um, embossing powder and we're going to work in on the background. So I am going to use a few of my ink pack and then I have my yellow. I am going to need orange. I am going to need a red. I am going to need a little bit purple. Okay. And then we're going to start with a light color first and then you are going to use ink pack because we want to make a very smooth uh, carpage. So the marker um, is going to take a while because it's going to show the stroke. And then you are going to need uh, um, some sponge. Um, this is our magic mushroom. It's an awesome tool and you can see they are really, I really use them all the time. And then um, you got to make sure they are moisture. So you kind of um, soak them in the water, make sure they are really absorb the water. They are moisture. So the moisture one is always working better than the dry one. And uh, I actually soak them every day every time when i want to make a car i actually have to soak them i found out that once when they use them they actually dry out pretty soon especially you are um living like edmonton somewhere like dry you have the you have a heat running so this technique you got to have a, like a sponge you cannot use the blending brush i'm going to explain you why so I'm going to start, there's a few ways. I'm going to use the yellow color first. I just re-ink my yellow ink pack. It's very, very moisture. So I kind of just give them, I kind of just tap the whole stamp. Okay, so you can, I don't know, can you see? You can see the color there, right? Okay. Just to make sure I don't, Get the okay, and then this is just a regular rec uh, recollection car stock, and then I'm going to just uh, rubbing on top. Okay, that's the 
I know, and this is uh, just a regular cardstock, right? See how pretty it is. Okay, so that's my first layer. Is that the coverage is really good already because that erasing part and the, the sanding part it does make a difference so give it a try and remember please only try use a rubber stamp don't you um, don't sand it or erase uh, the clear stamp because it's not going to work okay so i'm going to just do again look the coverage so smooth so nice and this is just a regular car stuff. Okay, and then next, you don't even have to clean your stamp because we're going to use it from light to the dark, right? So this is just a regular car stuff. And I also just re ink my orange uh, ink pad. It's actually very juicy. Okay, too juicy. I just uh, put the sun color on top. You can see, right? And then now it's very important. You only cover, uh, use the orange color half of your stamp. Don't just uh, color all, all, all. Let's see if I can just move this one. Don't just uh, ink all the whole stamp with orange color. Okay, just the uh, um, part. Okay, just uh, some part. It doesn't matter. You kind of just like a pat, pat, pat. And then you're going to use your magic mushroom. It's very, very important because we use impact, right? And then that impact have a very clear line. You can see the reflection. We want to, or your tree is like, a, you see outside in the nature, the tree color, when they change, they change like a yellow, slowly orange and the red. They don't change like a yellow and then orange and then red. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our magic mushroom. If we don't have the magic mushroom, try to use the makeup sponge, but because makeup uh, makeup sponge is like a wedges. So when you try to blending it, they probably don't blending as well as, well as the like a wrong, wrong um, tip, like a top. Okay, but you use what you have. If you are thinking about to have a per, uh, like a, have a set of a magic mushroom, wait for or Black Friday sale. At this moment, moment we have a buy one get a second one for free. Just pay for the um, extra shipping fee. But uh, in the or Black Friday uh, sale, we're going to offer. I don't want to tell you what we're going to have first. First, but we're going to have a very very good promotion, pretty much like last year plus more. So make sure you sign up our newsletter and uh, watch our YouTube channel. Okay, so I'm going to just use this one. I'm kind of just gently tapping it, kind of like softening, softening, like softer the color. Okay, we want to kind of like uh, blending those sharp uh, H, okay, H. Okay, so let's do that and then we take a look. So let's do it again. Look at that. Ooh, da la. Okay, and then now we're going to do a little bit of uh, red color. So the yellow color, lightest, lightest color, we use 100% coverage. And the orange one, we are using 50%. And then red one, we are going to reduce to 25 so we don't want to put too much orange or red that way when you finish your 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 final car stock you see all red okay you can see my red color can you, um it's a little bit see i'm sorry it's hard to see but you can see the reflection right it's only like 25 percent i don't even bother to change my magic mushroom because the tool is ready for use i know even though you want to keep all the beautiful color so i'm gonna gently like a tap tap again tap tap okay tap tap gently tap tap you need to have a sponge tip and then the circle wrong one it work better than the wedges you cannot use the brush because the brush you will brush off all the color so they uh, after you brush it there's nothing stick on stay on your stand so you can do that Okay, see my red color? And then if you find out they are not red enough, let's add a, a little bit more. So I'm going to just have a, a little bit in this corner, a little bit corner. And then remember after you apply the red color, you got to use your magic mushroom, soft 
edge a little bit. Otherwise, uh, when you stamp it, you are going to see like a the gap, the the line. So we want them look as natural as they can. They can, right? It's like a, when the like a tree they change the color. You can see like section of yellow. They don't just change it like yellow and green or yellow, orange and red. So they slowly change the color. There you go. Okay, now we are going to add a little bit final color that will be the purple. So the purple and red, they mix together. It kind of have a become like a magenta, like a burgundy. Okay, so now the purple, the darkest color, I only want to have a 10%. See, on my stamp, you can see just a little bit. So remember, if your stamp doesn't stamping well, try to use eraser, erase the surface, and then use the same block to sanding the surface, okay? Just uh, if uh, you are not sure, try to find a cheap, not cheap, inexpensive stamp and I give a try to see does it work better or not okay so so here see my purple is it kind of jump too fast I'm going to you know what's a good part of this magic mushroom because they can be blending you can control the color when you do the brushes the brush is one you can you cannot really control see that color I think that's pretty good. If um, that's add a little bit least corner too. What you can do is also you can use the, your magic mushroom and then kind of tapping directly on the stem. It's going to uh, ink the stem, but the the color is going to be softer than you use impact directly on the stem. See, that's very very pretty color right and then now i need to clean my stamp because i'm going to use the uh, i'm going to use a version mark i'm going to use reverse mark to coat it with a clear embossing powder and then that way when i work in the back of the sky i don't i i, I can keep those beautiful fall color okay so now i have my version mark so Versamar, after you use Versamar, I think my stamp is getting so dirty because sometimes after I use the Versamar, I don't, I didn't clean right away. And that after a while, they kind of deposit on top. So they lose the, that, they lose uh, the performance. So that's why I am having a trouble to get a, a nice uh, coverage. So we use the Versamar. So it's very important you got to have a stamp positioner. If you don't have a stamp positioner, you are going to have a trouble. So I'm going to do this, rub, rub. If you are not sure you get a nice coverage, let's do one more time. Okay, so I prefer slowly build out instead of like squeezing your ink pack in too much. So that way sometimes the ink bleed, you don't get a nice detail and the look or tree to sky um, image, how detailed it is. Just a single color. I think that looks very pretty already without the sky. Okay, that's just a rub rub a little bit. And then now I think uh, it's good enough and I am going to Grab my, so I put uh, one extra sheet. They used to have a phone, but I don't know where did that phone go. I, I'm i still having a trouble to find all my stuff. So I put uh, one extra sheet to kind of racing the paper. So, um, and I found out they ink better. Okay, so now I am going to find uh, my Okay, so I found my clear embossing powder and then this is actually the detailed one because we have a lot of de de detailed branches. So it's better you use a, a little bit ultra fine embossing powder. So that way we don't missing any branches. Actually, it's a cover pretty good. Okay, oh, I really don't like embossing powder. Be very careful, try to put everything back.
Okay, so that's my tree to sky. That's my tree to lose the powder again. That's my tree to sky cold with a clear embossing. Okay, and then now we are going to working on our sky. Okay, so I think uh, in the summertime you can have your tree like all different kind of green and then you can even like make a sunset color. I think that will look so, so pretty too. We should give a try. Oh, maybe you should give a try and then send me a picture. Let me know. So we're going to working on the backgrounds. Uh, the background, we're going to do the sky. So I have these uh, two light color or just one. And then we're going to use the old blue. So first of all, let's make sure my magic mushroom, um, even though you can see it looks kind of dirty, right? But uh, see, when I apply it, there's no color. Okay, we are going to use this uh, color first, or you can use any dye base. They will work just fine. So just uh, like a testing a little bit color before we start. Okay, I think that's good. <coughs> okay, so when you apply the color, it really depends. I want my center is still have a little bit white lighting i don't want it very very dark so i'm going to start from the um right side i'm going to just uh, tapping rubbing anything you like actually i'm doing a gently rubbing like you're drawing a little circle i want to kind of bring the color from the from the um outside in okay always from the scrap paper don't Put your color directly on top of your your project. Okay, so I'm kind of just uh, bring the color from outside in, kind of like a one direction brushing. And then um, I will put a link below. I had a, a magic mushroom workshop to show the people how to use a magic mushroom from the beginning. It is a free to view, so I will put a link below. If you have a set of a magic mushroom, I really suggest you watch that video, the workshop. Um, so that way you will pick up all the tricks. Because any tool, there is a way to to make that tool work better. So, but you got to know how to do that, right? So I'm going to just uh, join a circle. See, I'm still working from the outside in a circle I want to keep a little bit white okay draw a little circle and remember the magic mushroom you're going to use your finger to support the, that head you don't want to behave your beautiful magic mushroom so gently rub and see how pretty that color so because those are magic mushroom you can really really control how dark you want light color you want and then remember when you brush the color outside in outside in that way the center it will stay um light okay and then we are going to just uh, use a wet cloth gently like clean wet cloth just kind of wipe off uh, the color which is setting on your tree because it's a coated with a clear embossing powder right so um don't have to worry about it. it's not going to eat back and then i'm going to add a little bit darker blue okay so always testing a little bit make sure we don't want too dark so we, we can just tap when you tap the color is easier to get on the paper is much uh, um, easy to absorb that color and then rubbing circling is the uh, helping you soften the line okay so just uh, you know it's really hard to explain this uh, how good those magic mushroom when we doing the show and then the people really sit and try it and then you know this is a really great tool you got to get a hands on to try it okay gentle gentle we don't want a very dark and I try to hiding the line. Okay, like this. If you want to 
draw like a brush one direction circling is okay but if we want to kind of bring the color from the outside so one direction only don't try to do this because this way you will have a line those circle line so from outside kind of brushing in okay and you can also rotate draw a little circle That's it. Okay, and then again, I am going to, I think this uh, paper is a 65, it's not 100 pound. I think I accidentally grabbed the 65 pounds car stuff. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit darker purple. First of all, make sure your matrix mushroom not too dry and not too wet. And then testing a little bit on the side, okay. This one probably need to re-ink. Okay, so we just kind of give a little bit purple. I think this purple is not dark enough. Or you can use it like a darker blue, like ultramarine blue. Gently tap tap, like a bouncing. Okay, and then try to hide your bouncing line so by drawing a little circle like this I have a, a stamp called um, Celine line background stamp we call the spray I think that with this technique I think you can create a beautiful undersea I think that's a really pretty color and then just wait i am going to trimming it oh before we do that i'm going to use my damp cloth kind of just wipe off the color on top of a uh, that i'm going to trim it i will be right back okay see that's what it looked like after we trimming it look the color is just let me organize my table first sorry for it's hard. so this is my car and then look this one is much uh, brighter so this is the a2 size car and all the background is around the four by four by 5.25 so it's a perfect for a2 size car and then i did a video before to share share with, with you guys how to extending your background if you want to make a bigger car so there is a video to do that okay now we are going to working on our flying ego so i am going to just uh, don't need this one anymore it can have a sound reflection so we are going to use our tab die I think we still have a few more of these tab die If you don't have it, you can just uh, um, draw a tab. So I'm going to use this one, the smaller one. Okay. And then I'm going to, because I want to make my ego is kind of like a, um, gliding around the circle. So I'm going to just put my die cut like this instead of like a horizontal or vertical so kind of like a 45 degree here and then just a uh, tape it and i'm going to die cut it so die cut it i'm having my die cut machine okay so or cruise or stamping cruise It's a half full now, so we have 36 people already signed our cruise. If you like to join us in February, um, stamping cruise leaving from the Tampa right after the Stamp Fast show, just make sure you click the link below and uh, to check it out. So this is the two I cut, and we're going to keep both of them. Uh, it's uh, you can see because after i put my ego there i am i put this one back so that way it doesn't disturb my car so i'm going to keep it and i really like this color i think it's so pretty now i have my flying ego uh ego so this is our majestic set it's a very pretty set you can create a um great car for guys 
So what I like to do is I like to pre-stain a few of the stamp image and then that, uh, wait until you dry. If you have a laser printer, what you can do is you can just photocopy with a laser printer. So that way you can um, use the alcohol marker to color them. And uh, because uh, I use this VersaFine for all my outline because I found out they are really, really detailed. But uh, this one is not compatible with uh, alcohol marker. If you use a mark alcohol marker with a versus fine impact, they will um they will bleed. They 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 they, they won't hold the marker. So the, for the marker, the best impact is memento. But I found out the memento, no matter how many times you stamp, I don't get that crispy clear stamp image. So that's why I come up with uh, these. Uh, uh, unless you want to use the uh, watercolor or other media if you want to use the alcohol marker what the best way to do is use this versafine and the stamping on like a good quality car stock and scan it so i always have my original sheet and every time i want it i just photocopy one and i don't have to wait until it dry and then see the image is really really is dark so this one is I did with a memento and then you do have to use the stamp positioner to stamp a few times. So and then I mounted on my um this uh, maj majestic um die cut is come with a double die. So they come with outline die, they also come with a detail die. I was going to show you what's look like but the the already glued i will show you next video because uh, the gold uh, mirror paper i kind of did embossing and then this one i haven't colored yet we are not going to waste the time to show you how to color because you guys know how to color i'm going to just concentrate on how we can make uh, the car is uh, making my ego is really spinning look it's really oop, it's really spinning nicely before you probably use the painting, right? In Canada, we don't even use a painting anymore. We can't find a painting anymore. And also painting is heavy. So what you're gonna do is you are going to just use acetate. We do sell this acetate in our store. And then um, I actually have a, some other project I'm going to share with you guys. Actually, where did that go? It's in the half of the so you can see this is some acetate. That's the other project. So this acetate you can you can use uh, for create other stuff. I'm still working on my prototype. So that's one thing. So we do sell this acetate. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use this uh, 7A circle punch. If you have a punch, you use a punch. If you don't have a punch, you use a die cut. And then for the punch, I don't think so you have a problem to cut it. So just a punch two circle, and then you are going to use a uh, foam tape. So instead of a painting, you use the uh, acetate, and that's your spinning part. And then we're going to just uh, glue or ego remember i think i didn't glue this circle in the middle because i want my ego gliding i actually put my this part on the wing so i'm going to just do put a little bit like this okay so now we are going to Some of you guys probably know we just we move, right? You have no idea. I actually have a whole box of tape. <laughs> I mean the you name it, double side tape, phone tape, glue around it, the whole box that like a moving box. So I'm going to just have a little bit white here. Okay. And then oh, and this one we need to kind of race out so I put the foam few tomorrow um, now Halloween is done. Okay, gonna put it here. Now is Christmas. Wow. 
Okay, going to do this, going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Okay, see, this strip, if we don't put it back, that white tag, it looks weird, right? So now we're going to just put a little bit tape. We're going to use that window as a guiding window. And then now my eagle, the bottom one is very easy. Kind of you just insert it. You can bend it because they are piece of plastic. They are actually flexible. Or you can just uh, put your ego away first after after you put it inside. Make sure they can be moved. And then you put your ego back. I haven't um I haven't colored and you see your ego is really gliding. Ta da and then I think this is a great project for guy. And then I haven't um, colored my ego yet, but uh, you guys know the coloring part is not a big deal, right? So this gold um, gold backing is the, or die cut. So the die cut, this uh, majestic, let me show you guys. See the die cut, you actually have a die cut. So you have the detail die cut, you have an outline die cut. So the outline die cut you can use it for the backing or you can use it for create a stencil. I am going to use this set to create a more project to share with you guys and then coming soon. So see this one is a little bit lighter and this one is a little bit di darker color. I think they're all good. Um, I am going to just finish color this one. Okay, have you seen how I call it? It's just like that. You know, because a good stamp image it really make a difference. See, this is my original um, stamp image, the stamp image, right? It's not just outline. When I design this stamp, I put a lot of uh, shading. So that make your job easy. So when you see I color the, uh, with a, like an alcohol marker, I kind of just uh, like a brushing a little bit color and then that's it, right? It is really like that. Basically, you just have to give them a basic color, one or two, because the um, the design of the stamp is a really, really detailed. You don't really have to put a lot of time to do the coloring to be able to get what you want. So that's today's video. I think it's pretty cool and it's really spinning just like that. And then um, the light color, dark color, if you want to put some sentiment like this, I think it's a great car for your male friend. What do you think? Okay, so that's today's video. I still have a uh, um, few more video coming soon. Um, if you do like this, this video, just spend 10 seconds, leave me a feedback. You know, this uh, Local King Robert's Day YouTube channel, we don't have a um, commercial. I don't really um, get a chance to advertise in this channel. If you think this channel is good, help me just leave the feedback or share. Just click that share button so other people know. When you, when more people share this channel, it doesn't matter if your friend watch or not. When more people sharing it, this channel, uh, this YouTube will generate, and they will put the, uh, um, they, they, when the people doing the search, and then our channel will pop out. This is the best way if you can help me um, to promote local King Robert stamp product. If you like us, if you found out this video is really useful, you learn something from us, that will be wonderful. So this is Lisa from Low Coking Rubber Stamp. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, check our stamping crews, and then um, keep eye on these uh, Black Friday big sales, which is coming soon in the um, November 25th. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.